Tim Rushing with Techno Metal Post Pikes Peak Region. We're here in beautiful Palmer Lake doing a couple of deck piers and wanted to run you through a little bit of a procedure that we do for every job. Um, you'll see over here there are some flags and uh, every time we do a job three days prior we're required to call in utility locates. So we have in this case buried electric lines in the lower part of this yard and the side part. Um, here's an interesting thing right here. We had a sewer line. It's painted in green and it actually was right where um, the contractor wanted this pier. So we actually ended up having to move it um, and then we're safe. We don't have to do any damage control on anything by putting a pier in a, in a place that has a utility. So um, the next process for us or next stage is we will hook up our machine and we run the pier in. These happen to be seven foot long galvanized um, schedule 40 helical piers. And uh, we turned them into seven feet of depth. We had very little pressure to support these big I-beams that go across this particular design. Um, and so we ended up adding on these extensions that you see here. We weld these solid and we run these down until we get enough pressure uh, to correspond to a load for this deck. Uh, so we have a pressure gauge on our machine and it tells the PSI, the hydraulic pressure, basically to spin this pier into the ground. And it's correlated to a torque chart and then a load chart as well. So we had to add these on. Um, so we're, we ended up, we did one pier already that's down about nine, ten feet. And um, that one has good torque, so we will probably end up leaving that, cutting that one off a couple inches above grade and put a pier cap on uh, for a six by six post and we're done. So uh, pretty quick process and uh, definitely better than a caisson, concrete caisson in this situation would have very little pressure, very soft soil. And over time, they're probably gonna settle and sink. Our piers are guaranteed not to settle or sink or move. So it's an engineered product um, and it's one of the reasons that we are the worldwide leader in helical peer foundations.